Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Rory and today I want to talk to you about the Summit Vective Pro from the North Face. The Summit Vective Pro is the latest ultra trail racing shoe from the North Face. This is what I would class as a super shoe that we're going to start to see much more of on the trails. And um, what do I mean by super shoe? Well, kind of these max cushioned carbon plated racing shoes um, really designed to help with efficiency when racing. I've been eagerly anticipating the launch of the shoe. On paper it looks great, there's lots of cool features. I've ran 50 kilometers so far in the shoe. Uh, one of those runs was a 30 kilometer long run in the hills at a nice easy pace. So I want to give you some of my thoughts on the features and how this new shoe feels on the trails. The upper is a very breathable synthetic mesh upper. The Summit Vective Pro has a nice lockdown and a lovely kind of cushioned neoprene tongue. Once you get the lockdown right, um, it does stay in place and it gives you quite a precise fit across the midfoot. One of the best features of this shoe on the update is the new form that they've used in this midsole. And I think this is kind of a super form that you see similar to Nike and their Zoom X and the Vapor Flies and the Alpha Flies. It's a very soft, very cushioned form that offers a really good energy return. Um, this also does have, I'll try and show you here, it's got a lovely rocker to this shoe as well. So when you're running, um, it really wants to help transition that foot to toe off. So it's a super, super butter smooth transition from kind of mid foot to fore foot. So it's not just the form that helps with that transition. It's obviously this uh, new carbon plate, the Vective 2 carbon plate that they've put in here. And you can see here on the front, these dark carbon wings, which go on the medial and the lateral side of the forefoot. Um, they're there to help stability. So when you're running on kind of technical, uneven terrain, it's to help keep that foot stable. Obviously putting a hard carbon plate in a trail shoe can be difficult because it's really going to increase the chance of rolling your ankle. So um, North Face have tried to keep that shoe stable. The Summit Vective Pro has surface control grip, which I believe is uh, bio. So it's kind of used from recycled material, which is really nice. That's what we want to hear. We want to see more of that, please. Um, it is a sticky rubber compound. The grip is uh, good on this. The runs that I've taken it on, it's been cold and icy out here recently. So even walking on ice, it actually sticks quite well to it. The lugs aren't that deep. It's three and a half mil lugs, um, quite wide spaced. So I think it's really designed well for running on uh, probably non, not too technical kind of buff trails, but it, it can cope with a bit of rocks and things like that as well. You probably want to keep it away from mud. It's not really going to deal too well with that. This shoe does give you quite a good precise lockdown. It took a few attempts on the first run, but once you kind of give those laces a good yank, you can really lock it down quite tightly across the midfoot. I didn't have any heel slippage. My foot wasn't moving forward on the descents or anything. Um, it does offer the two eyelets, so I highly recommend using the runner's knot to really crank it down and get that good fit across the, the heel and the ankle and that midfoot. The um, back of the shoe does have the uh, kind of a collar and a tab, which runs quite high. And I thought that might irritate the Achilles, but once you're running, it's absolutely fine. I uh, didn't really feel anything on there. And it has some nice soft padding on the inside of the collar. Um, this just offers a bit of comfort around the foot. It is quite high, so you can feel it kind of just underneath your ankles when you're walking. 
um, but it didn't cause any rubbing and as soon as I got running uh, it wasn't an issue so the upper has a nice feel to it. One of the downsides is I think it's too wide a fit. I'm a standard kind of D width foot, not a huge volume foot, um, but as soon as you put this shoe on it feels big for a size 9 for my size compared to Solomon's and Nike's, La Sportiva or all the other, all the other types of innovates. Um, it's very wide and it's quite long as well so I definitely recommend going down half a size I think for this one I'm not sure why the toe box is so wide it's just, it's just too wide it's sloppy almost your foot can really move side to side and, and that's not ideal for a technical trail shoe also the toe box is really deep too deep I don't know why there's so much material there in the toe box uh, they could afford to I think narrow that down um, and make it a bit shallower as well so it had a bit more of a, a snug fit around your foot it's just a bit sloppy the upper is very breathable though um, it's like a synthetic material so it's not going to hang on to any moisture uh, whether it's sweat or running through rivers and puddles it's not really going to weigh you down so that's nice it's going to keep the weight low the midsole so this is probably one of the reasons why you're buying this shoe it has a lovely lovely cushioned midsole uh, the form that they've used is absolutely fantastic um, it's soft it's squishy it's got a lovely feel to it and um, when you're running uh, with that toe off it, it's kind kind of like running on a, a road shoe it's got a lovely butter smooth transition to it absolutely fantastic um, and partly with that carbon plate as well um, it just wants to propel your foot forward even on climbs when you're running up climbs you can really see that rocker pushing you forward on the toes so really really love the midsole and the feel and the ride of this shoe when i did the long run 30 kilometer long run yesterday legs were absolutely fine afterwards didn't didn't feel anything today it's almost like i didn't run yesterday so whatever they've used this kind of piba eva mix in the midsole brilliant and i'm a huge fan of that and can't wait to kind of see more shoes with that kind of midsole to it so yeah absolutely lovely there are some downsides and sadly some pretty big downsides to this shoe the stack height uh, is isn't really an issue at first i thought right 32 mil 26 mil stack height kind of max cushion shoe for the trail i'm just going to be rolling my ankles left right and center it's not like that at all when you get on the trails it's got a lovely wide base but it is quite stable the form it has quite um quite a soft feel to it but it kind of sits you into the shoe so it doesn't feel like you're sat on top of a really high stack so you do still feel quite connected to the ground despite that big wedge of foam underfoot the biggest gripe with this shoe and you probably know what's coming are these medial carbon wings when I was running on kind of flat trails soft trails buff trails even road for a little bit shoe felt fantastic kind of like a road shoe felt stable felt comfortable felt smooth as soon as you started running on anything too technical so anything that was slightly off camber uh, rocks and roots things like that i could feel these carbon wings digging into my foot and on both sides my big toe joint had this hard carbon digging into it and pressing into it making it so that it's just a massive no-no for me you put a bit of energy into the shoe and that midsole compresses your foot's pressing into hard carbon i won't be using this shoe on a long ultra run knowing that i've got that kind of discomfort there that carbon needs to be underneath a layer of midsole so your foot is on a soft platform for comfort i, I, I don't want to have that discomfort and potentially cause any problems to my feet on the longer runs so that's such a shame because i think potentially the north face were onto a winner with this one it's a step in the right direction but i still think they've got some kinks to iron out price point 225 pounds this is expensive super expensive you do expect performance at that price point and you certainly get it with this shoe and um, that midsole and the carbon plate i think durability wise i mean 50 kilometers on this shoe and it's still looking kind of like it's fresh out the box i think you're going to get some high mileage on this midsole i don't see it kind of overly creasing anytime soon and that's good to know so you should be able to rack up the miles doesn't offer bags of grip so it's certainly i would say kind of a, a good weather summer trail shoe trail racing shoe as well for the ultras 
If you're doing something like Ultra Trail de Mont Blanc, where it's pretty good going underfoot buff trails, I think it's a, a great option for that. If it wasn't for those carbon wings causing problems. I think that's it from me. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this review. Uh, if you found it useful, please do leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. That's going to help me get my videos to more eyeballs and grow the channel. That would really help me out. Much appreciated. And thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.